Hi there, thanks for joining in and welcome to Codebox. In this tutorial, we will walk through how to create a simple GPS tracking system with PHP and MySQL. To help you follow along, the code download is on the Codebox website. Link in the description box below. Let us start with a database table to save the locations of the delivery staff. Rider ID, the ID of the delivery staff, primary key. Track time, the time when the staff checked in. Indexed. Lastly, the longitude and latitude. With the database in place, we can now work on the PHP library. Start with an empty track class and object. Define the database settings. In the class constructor, create a PDO object. This way, it automatically connects to the database when the track object is created. Vice versa in the destructor, we close the database connection. Then, add a helper function to run SQL queries. Now that the basic database stuff is dealt with, we can add the actual tracking functions. First, a function to update the location of the delivery staff. Which is but a simple replace query to update the database table. Then, a function to get the rider locations. If an ID is not specified, this function will get the locations of all riders. Else, this will fetch the location of the specified delivery staff. Now that the library is ready, we add an AJAX endpoint to process requests. Make sure that it only starts processing when there is a valid request. Add an endpoint for updating the location of the delivery staff. This is pretty much matching the post variables into the library function.
Then, add another endpoint to get the rider locations. With that, we can now build a page to track the riders. For the HTML interface, we will go simple with a last updated timestamp and GPS coordinates. Then for the JavaScript, we will keep all the mechanics in a track object. Add the properties and settings. For this example, we will fix the rider ID to 999. Update the GPS coordinates every 10 seconds. Add an interval timer object. And the HTML elements. On window load, run an init function. Get the HTML elements. Run an update function every 10 seconds to send the GPS coordinates to the server. To get the GPS coordinates, use navigator.geolocation.getCurrentPosition. This function takes in two functions as parameters. The first one deals with the GPS coordinates on success. And the second one to handle errors. Let us create a helper function to deal with the error handling.
simply show the error in the developer's console, and stop the interval timer. Now back to deal with the GPS coordinates. Create a new form data object. Append an update request, the rider ID, and GPS coordinates. Send the data to the AJAX handler. Return the server response is text. If the results are OK, we will update the HTML interface respectively. If not, handle the errors accordingly. Finally, add a dummy admin page. For the HTML, create an empty div to display the rider locations. For the JavaScript once again, keep all the mechanics in a track object. Add the properties and settings. Set a delay of 10 seconds between each update. Add an interval timer object and the HTML div element. On window load, run an init function. Get the HTML div element. Run a show function to update the rider locations every 10 seconds. In the show function, send a get request to the AJAX handler. Return the result as JSON.
loop through the rider location data and generate HTML rows. Lastly, handle the errors. At this stage, the system is complete. All that's left is to do some testing and verification. For local testing, we can use tools to simulate different GPS locations. In Google Chrome, open the developer's console. Under Settings, More Tools, Senses. For this example, we will set the location to London first. Open the rider tracking page. Then, open the admin page to verify. Next, we change the location to Shanghai. Switch back to the admin page for verification. With that, we have come to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you want to learn more. See you in the next one.